It's tied off to my ridge line and I'm relaxing in my indoor hammock. You just pop off the corners and it keeps its shape so that you can pop back in when you need to. Now it's not foolproof. There we go. Now this I can tie off and my phone's not gonna go anywhere. Hey everyone, so I have about eight feet of paracord here. I'm gonna start by taking my two ends and then just pulling it all through so that I meet up to my midway point on my cord. I'm gonna take that bite and fold it behind my index finger and then my middle finger is just gonna weave in and out. There we go. So now I have a bottom window and a top window. I'm gonna take my right strand and thread it through my bottom window. And then I'm gonna continue it through the top window. There we go. Now when I pull it tight, I have a loop on this side, loop on that side. This is a symmetrical knot, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the left strand. Pass it through, pass it through. Okay, and I'm gonna set this down so you get a good look at what we're doing here. So this kind of looks like a butterfly here. We have our antenna there, our antennae, our wings. What I'm gonna do is grab these two strands here, and then I'll grab the upper strands and pull this center knot tight. There we go, not too tight. Now I'm gonna grab my phone, and I wanna match up these loops to about the width of the phone. Okay, so I'll pull this tight. There we go. I'm gonna match this other one by just pulling in the, the slack, and then I'll take the slack out for my antennae there. All right, looks good. Okay, so the tips of these wings are gonna grab onto the corners of the phone. I'm gonna grab my phone here and just place it right on top and then grab my wings and grip onto the corners. There we go. Now with the antenna here, I'm just gonna pull them outwards and everything should tighten up. Perfect, I'll adjust all these corners. All right. And now we have our basic harness for our phone. Once I have my tension set on my phone, I'm gonna secure these two free ends with a snake knot. And so I'm just gonna take this end here and twist the loop so that I have the section that's on the inside going on top. Now this is gonna be symmetrical, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. There we go, you see this section here is on top. And now I'm just gonna fold these over onto the free ends and pull these ends through. Now if this looks confusing, I'm gonna do it again at the end of the video. Now I'm just gonna pull in my tension, pull my knot. There we go. All right, so now all I have to do is attach this to my ridge line for my hammock. Now word of caution, you wanna be careful that you are not pressing on the power button to the phone, otherwise you may unintentionally call the police. I'm gonna tie this to my indoor hammock here. All right, so here's my phone, and then I have my two free ends. So now I'm gonna tie a knot that is similar to a snake knot. If this is difficult to see, I'm gonna show it again at the end of the video. But I'm simply going to go around either side and pull through, almost like I'm doing a bracelet. So the problem is that this is gonna sway all around, so we need another line to anchor the phone in place. So I'm just gonna use a simple large foot to secure to this line. I'm gonna take my bite, go around, and then feed these two strands through. So now I'm just gonna tie the same bracelet knot, or snake knot, that I did on the other side. It's tied off to my ridge line, and I'm relaxing in my indoor hammock. Now when it's time to remove your phone, you just pop off the corners, and it keeps its shape so that you can pop back in when you need to. Here's another explanation of that snake knot. So I have my two strands, and I'm gonna take this strand here and put it behind, creating a loop. This strand is gonna go in front, creating a loop. And now you see I can take this strand here and poke it through that window, 
This strand over here is going to come forward through this window. And I'm just going to go through the opposite windows. So here's another look of the snake knot I used to attach to my ridge line. Now this is going to look upside down from what you saw earlier. I'm going to take my two ends and go around my ridge line and then continue around and I'm making two loops on either side, if you can see the two loops here. Now I'm just going to pass the opposite free ends through these loops and pull everything tight. And then when I get my tension, everything stays secure. Now if you need a knot that's simply utilitarian, meaning you just don't want your phone getting lost, nothing else, this is what you're going to do. Make a simple overhand knot. And then the two ears of your overhand knot, you're going to push away from each other. And you're going to make this figure eight looking thing. Now this is the same knot that painters would use to hold a bucket. But our bucket is going to be a cell phone. And so I'm just going to place it right there in the middle and then pull up the sides. Okay. Now all I need is to do my snake knot on top, the same knot that we covered earlier. There we go. And I'm going to pull my opposite strands through each loop and then pull it all tight. Make sure you have enough tension in it. There we go. Now this I can tie off and my phone's not going to go anywhere. So for this version of the harness, I'm going to do a single take. So it's not going to be the prettiest demonstration, but I just want you to know that it can be done. So I'm going to start by taking some paracord and going around the inner face of the phone case, right? Just so that I have a little bezel that I can cut and form with this paracord here. Now I'm going to take my torch and melt my ends together. Now this only works with fresh paracord. If you try to remelt the cord and bond it together, it's not going to work. It'll pop right apart. Just want to be careful you're not touching that molten paracord because it will burn you in a hurry. All right. Let's set that aside. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'll find my two free ends and then pull the cord together so that I'm working with my center section of cord. I'll take my bite, pull it behind, and then thread my middle finger in and out. And now I'm going to thread my free ends through the bottom and top windows. The only thing is I want to include this bezel here as I do it. So there we go, I included the bezel, thread through the bottom window. Now when I thread through the top window, I also want to include the bezel. So I'm going to go over the top now. There we go. I'll lay this flat so it's easy for you to see. Going to go through that window again. And then for this one, I'm going to include the bezel. If you look at this strand right here, it goes from behind. And so I'm going to take this strand and also go from behind. And then thread it through. All right. Now we have our same butterfly with the bezel going through it. Pull my strands tight up here. Adjust my strands so that my phone fits in. Okay. Now I'm going to fit my phone in. Oops. There you go. Place that in there. Place that in there. And now I'm just going to fit my loops over the top of the phone. Let's thread that out. There we go, and that bezel is going to go in front too. Okay. 
There we go. You're going to start to see this take shape. Okay, now for the back, we want to pull all our loops tight. All right, that's looking good. Now I'm just going to tie my snake knot in the back like I've done before. There we go. Mm, wrong way. There we go, and then pull these through. Pull this tight. Okay. Now it's not foolproof. So if I were to slip this off, it can still come undone. But it is another option.